Before we get into today's video, I want to put a disclaimer out there that the content and the nature of the video that we're actually going to watch could be sensitive and a little bit disturbing to some people, namely those who have specific intolerances to watching things about bullying or cancer. And while what we watch could make you very angry and there are things you're going to want to do and or say to the person in order to get back at them, I can't stress enough that stooping to their level and being abusive back to them is not something that's actually going to help. I'm going to put a couple of links down in the description below uh, to a couple of charities, one that deals with cancer and another one that deals with bullying. And if you so feel inclined and you have the funds, you can go ahead and check that out. That way we can actually turn what is a terrible video into something that maybe raises awareness or actively helps those who are struggling with either of those issues. That being said, let's go ahead and watch this absolute garbage and see if we can't find any humor, if there is any, uh, that could possibly be lurking around in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Topher Grace here. Welcome back to that 2021 show. <laughs> Welcome back to What's in the Dumpster Today, where we sift for gold through trash. Uh, but today all we found was more garbage, stinky, sticky waste trash. So sometimes you just don't get lucky like that. But if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. It doesn't matter if you haven't seen my content. It's super easy to do, it's free, and if at the end of the video you hate me, you can easily unsub. If you're a returning subscriber, what's up, homie? Welcome back to the chill ass, uh, chill zone, where we be chilling our asses. <laughs> I guess. Let's get into the juice for today. Let's get right into the fucking, let's wring out the garbage and drag. <laughs> Drink the fucking garbage juices. You know how movies sometimes have like over the top bullies who's like. I don't know what that was. Someone in the hallway was like freaking out like they just stepped in fucking dog shit. So, I mean, that would bum me out too. So, whatever. As I was saying, you know how movies oftentimes have these bullies that are like over the top and they're not only mean, but they're like incredibly corny. And when you watch it, you're like, come on, nobody, nobody talks like this. This dialogue is so dumb, it would never happen. Well, dude, think again, cause wait till you see this shit. Leukemia? Do you have cancer? Oh my God, do you have cancer? <laughs> You are such a loser. You're wearing a wig because you're bald. Fat, you're ugly, you look deformed, you're poor, and you have cancer and no hair, and your wig's crooked by the way, fix up. Take off your wig. Don't be a pussy. Take off your wig, Lucchino. <laughs> you have fucking cancer. You're such a loser. Oh my god, I can't. So, what's it like having fucking cancer? And I'm to wear wigs. I don't know how she can even say any of those things. It's obvious that she doesn't have any empathy. If you can't empathize with somebody going through something so deeply dark, then you become a dangerous person. You have fucking cancer. You're such a loser. Oh my god, I can't. I didn't think it was possible, but this person is worse than Jake Paul. What's up, fucker? <laughs> you are dumb. People pay you to be ugly and bald no people pay me because i'm dying you're such a loser basically you're getting a welfare for special needs very difficult to watch this and not feel worked up she leans so far into being a bully that she's actually verging on being some sort of an evil villain but she lacks all of the cunning in the tact that an evil villain usually has and instead comes off as thick-headed and foolish so people give you money to like go away because they don't want to deal with you honestly there's just there's nothing that you can go through in your life that gives you any room or any right to be so awful to someone hurt people hurt people but that does not make it okay. At some point, you have to be the person who decides to end the terrible cycle of abuse. She clearly has no actual criticism uh, pertaining to the content of somebody's character, so she goes for the absolute lowest hanging fruit. You have cancer? Oh my god, you have cancer. You're such a 
fucking loser. There's literally no substance to her content. It's just empty, clumsy, witless insults. A fucking cancer. You are such a loser. She's all delivery and no substance. Like a, like a, like an empty Amazon box. <laughs> Which would be, be a pretty big bummer to get that. Even her valley girl accent is empty and over the top and contrived, which really doesn't help the vapid nature of her verbal diarrhea that she's constantly spewing from her mouth hole. Actually, you know what? Instead of an empty Amazon box, it would be a box you'd be like excited to get. You'd be like, oh sick, a package arrived. You'd, you'd open it up and there would just, there'd just be a turd. There's just a poop in there. <laughs> a pile of, of duty, just a pile of duty, you know? Uh, no, I'm not yeah. putting this on my video. Yeah. I'd get canceled, bitch. I'm never gonna get caught. My supporters will not, like, you're never gonna expose me. My my supporters will never know that I call fat, ugly bitches losers like you. Who even are you since you're I'll literally take all of your cancer money and, like, I'll sue you for all your wigs and cancer money. What's your name since you're such a big celebrity? I know what you're doing and you're trying to incriminate me because I know you know exactly who I am. I'm not stupid like i have no idea who you are yeah 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 right yeah i didn't know who she was i had no idea until a post on reddit showed her being what i can only describe as evil to a cancer patient who was live streaming nice try i'll literally take all your cancer money i'm gonna take your make a wish foundation i'm going to sue you for all your wigs and chemo try me bitch. <laughs> that try me I, I, I've never been canceled and you're not going to be the one to cancel me and I never will be canceled. Try canceling me and I will literally take your make a wish and all your cancer money. I'll sue you for all of your cancer and sue you for everything you have and don't have. I've done this so many times. Your wig already looks like that. The one you have on looks ugly. Take off the wig. Man. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. I'll, I'll say it. That's a lot. I don't know where she got the idea that she was one, a celebrity, two, that she was untouchable by the current cancel culture, and three, that talking with that kind of inflection was anything but absolutely grating to the eardrums. But that's where we're at, my dudes. I mean, to be able to say those things to another human being in the first place is fucking just impossible to wrap my mind around, but even harder to wrap my mind around is the idea that she thinks that nobody will ever find out that she did this. When you have a following of any kind on any social media platform and you decide to show your face and you're doing something, people are gonna find out about it. I, I don't know how you haven't figured this out yet. She lives in the internet age and yet she still underestimates the absolute power of the webs, dude, of the interwebs. Anyways, Obviously, this video got out there and she was identified as Playmate Tessie. Classy. What a, it's a very classy name. <laughs> and I guess she was smart enough to actually apologize, so that's really cool. I'm not gonna fucking apologize. I'm not sorry for anything. Wow. Or not. As if. I'm not fucking sorry I didn't do anything. If you guys really want me to apologize, then I'll fucking do it. But just know that it's gonna be fake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. S O R Y. Sorry. S O R Y. Sorry. <sighs> Shut up. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Please don't cancel me. Oh my god. Like, I fucking care. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and say she's not sorry. I'm starting to think she's being sarcastic and that she's not actually sorry. S-O-R-Y be how I be feeling. And I really feel super like, I feel, I'm like, oh my God, I'm having an emotional, I'm having an emotional, emotion moment right now. And I feel really sorry, sorry. S-O-R-Y, what's that spell? Sorry! Continuously drives home the fact that she has no idea how to spell sorry. <laughs> so, sorry, so right, so, sorry. <laughs>
get cancer <laughs> never bitch i'm way too beautiful to get cancer shut up i'm way too beautiful to get that as if never bitch the absolute ridiculousness of saying you'll never possibly get cancer while taking big fat doinking rips off of your vaporizer sitting next to an empty bag of fast food is again so crazy <laughs> dude by the way this video is 45 goddamn minutes long. That's 45 minutes of her repeating herself and being shitty. Just being annoying and shitty. <laughs> and repeating S O R Y. Sorry. 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 Shut up. You're jealous. Shut up. I'm perfect. I guess I'm gonna wait until this jealousy like, stops being jealous. Shut up. Shut up. Can we all like stop being jealous? Shut up. It's jealousy. Everybody's just Shut deciding up. to be fucking jealous. Everybody just keeps deciding to be jealous. Shut up. It's getting really jealous. Sorry. But wait, there's more. I guess she does these streams where she sleeps and uh, people uh, just watch, they watch her sleep, which is so creepy. Uh, but during one of these streams while she was asleep, her dad can be heard in the background in another room yelling at her little sister. People on the internet, cause the internet is wild as hell, they found out where he worked and they doxed him, sending in videos of her playmate Tessie making fun of cancer patients, as well as this video of her sleeping with him yelling at her little sister in the background. He was definitely under the impression that he was fired because his boss called him in and went, we need to talk. So then I guess he finally, you know, tries to get her the boot. Get out of my house, you can't live here anymore. And she responds by, Dude, <laughs> calling the cops and saying that he was threatening her life. So that escalated insanely quickly. Yes. I need you at my house. I'm gonna be home in an hour. You better not be there. I'm you trying to delete. Know. I can't delete it. I don't know. You should have never ever added on. The I was sleeping. I was sleeping. I didn't know you were screaming. It doesn't matter. You stop screaming in my house. It just cost me my job. Live stream. Get, get, get the my house. I could leave. Get the f my house. I was get sleeping. Go to a hotel. I don't give a f get out. I can't. I have no Wi-Fi. I can't book. Telling me to leave right now or he will like hurt me. My like my dad wants me to leave right now. I like I don't have a chance to move. I have no internet. He is saying that if I don't leave that I will be like he 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 is threatening to hurt me and he's coming back in an hour and I have to leave immediately or he will harm me. I, I like I don't remember exactly what he said, but I he basically said that if I am not out in an hour that he is going to like seriously harm me and he said that I better be out or 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 it's over and he's going to hurt me and like he's gonna like whatever and then my sister's banging on my door and it's really scary and my dad's like threatened to kill me multiple times my dad's very like on location right now i haven't seen any evidence that he actually threatened her life in any sort of way and she records everything so i can only imagine that if he did do that she would have some sort of a record of it but either way she accused her dad of death threats and violence and then she goes and she gets herself a hotel room where she is, of course, still streaming, and here's the first thing she says when she gets in there. Whoop. Hotel IRL. Guys, this is depressing. I wish I brought Molly. Damn, dude. Life's so, like, life is so depressing, dude. I wish I could just, like, do, uh, rave drugs. <laughs> about it. I'm so depressed, let's do fucking Molly about it. Let's just fucking dance the night away, bro. So then when she's at the hotel room, he calls her and gives some thoughts on the situation and honestly, absolutely fucking roasts her. Do you want me to take you off? You can leave me on because I have some things to say and they should hear it too. You are a narcissistic drama queen, okay? You are. All of this is your doing because you can't do the basic things like 
bathe, take a bath. And what's really, really, really sad here he's, is that all this drama you're creating just so you can monetize he's talking to and, himself. and make some money and get some 15 minutes of fame. I mean, who do you think you are? You think you're just like that catch me outside girl? Is that your I mean, who do you think you are? Is, is, is that what you're going to do next? Drop a rap album? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You live. You I do, already did that several times. You do you. You do you. You have your life. Enjoy your life. But what you've done to today, what you've been doing, is I, I, I don't even know you anymore. I saw the comments about, you know, she needs mental health help. I've spent, me and her mother have spent over $40,000 in the past seven, eight years on her mental health and well being. She has been to psychiatrists and psychologists in Germany in Arkansas and in Texas. She has been to at least six, six doctors. She's been to two behavioral health institutions. So she has been to doctors. The last doctor she went to, she flat out refused the medication because she quickly looked up the side effects and saw that weight gain was a possible side effect. And when she asked for certain medications that he was not comfortable prescribing for, because she did her research, she basically wanted uppers but he refused he said this is not safe for you and she essentially walked out and refused this treatment uh, she refuses the treatment because she looked up that the drugs they wanted to give her uh, one of the side effects was weight gain and to that she was like hell no dude fats are poor <laughs> being fat is for uh poor people and nerds um so she was like peace out then dude loser Stupid doctor, <laughs> you fucking jealous. I'm jealous. I like to think that you know, gaining weight isn't equal to or shittier than being scummy as hell to people. So I like I don't I don't know what to say. Anyways, that's kind of where we're at. She's still streaming continuously. Um, you can I guess check it out, but I like. I don't want to keep clicking on her video because this is exactly what she wants. She's trying to become the villain, right? Because since she has no actual skills and no talent, the only thing that she can do is just be crappy to people and her sub count will go up, which by the way is still small. Like she's a small streamer. She's a small YouTube personality. But I, all I ask is that if you go and you check out her stuff, don't be shitty to her. You know, that's not what this is. We're not trying to take shitty people and then have more shittiness thrown at them. That's not going to work. You're not going to say anything mean to her that's going to make her rethink and be like, oh, maybe I've been, maybe I've been kind of mean. <sighs> I mean, I don't know, man. Welcome to the internet, baby. Welcome to the fucking internet, dude. Anyways, that's it for today. I guess I'll cover this more if anything else comes out of it. This is your second reminder. Go ahead and hit like, subscribe. Ring the notification bell if you want to be updated next time I upload. Um, and, you know, thanks for hanging out with me. Peace. <laughs> Absolutely knocked everything over. I'm it's so jealousy. Everybody's just like, oh.